What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again, once again. Spoiler warning, this video contains spoilers for Destiny 2's worst exotics. Leave now or forever hold your peace. To say that Destiny 2 will have some truly horrible exotics is an understatement. It's like, Bungie forgot somewhere along the line that exotics were supposed to be worthy of the fact that you can only have one equipped at a time. Don't get me wrong, not all is doom and gloom when it comes to Destiny 2 exotics. Hunters still have Stomp EE5 and Celestial Nighthawk. Warlocks get Transversive Steps and the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. And Titans, well, Titans have Dune Marchers and Doom Fang Pauldrons. And yet, for every good exotic, there seems to be three or four bad ones. This list is going to count down the top seven worst exotic armor pieces that we know about in Destiny 2. In at number 7, it's a bit of a cheat, because it's two exotics, but both of these exotics suffer from the exact same issue. I speak of course of young Ahamkara's spine and the sun bracers. In Destiny 1, both of these exotics provided an additional grenade, with the caveat that it was a very specific grenade. Young Ahamkara's spine gave its users an additional tripmine grenade, where sun bracers, Destiny 2's renamed version of sunbreakers, not to be confused with the Titan subclass of the same name, gained an additional Solar Grenade. In Destiny 2, these two exotics no longer do this. Instead, Young Ahamkara's Spine has the exotic perk Wish Dragon's Teeth, which does nothing more than increase the duration that your grenades stay on the map, and it marks those who take damage from it. So, basically, it does nothing. Sunbracers, they increase the time that solar grenades stay on the field, and they allow the user to gain back some grenade energy anytime they get a melee kill. Let me go ahead and make sure I understand this. Titans, which I main by the way, have two of the most powerful grenades in the entire game for free simply by choosing the better of the two striker subclasses. But hunters and warlocks can no longer give up their exotic slot for the ability to have an extra, very specific grenade? Am I the only one who finds this pants on head retarded? Speaking of things that are pants on head retarded, we segue to yet another set of exotics. In at number 6, we have the Hunter exotic Lucky Pants and the Titan exotic Peacekeeper. Lucky Pants has the exotic perk Illegally Modded Holster, which increases hand cannon ready speed and initial accuracy. And then we have Peacekeeper, whose exotic perk is Machina Holster, which reloads stowed SMGs and allows you to ready them immediately. The big problem with these two exotics is that their perks should be legendary armor mods. In fact, you could make one of these for every weapon class in the game. At the end of the day, who is going to give up their exotic slot for something this lackluster? I mean, Lucky Pants basically does nothing if you know how to aim your fucking gun. In Peacekeeper, it might cut down the reload time on SMGs depending on how long the SMG needs to be stowed, but then again, Titans already have a barricade, and that reloads your weapon automatically as well. These might have been really cool legendary perks, or maybe they could have been really good exotic perks had they been combined with something else, but as they are, as their own perks, they're complete and utter trash, more so when you compare them with what they're competing with. Moving right along to number 5, the Dragon Shadow Exotic Chest Piece for Hunters. Exotic Perk, Increase Movement Speed and Weapon Handling for a short time after you dodge. Or, you can just use Stomp EE5 and have Increased Sprint Speed, Increased Sliding Distance, and Improved Jump, all the time. Coming in at number 4, the Titan Exotic Chest Piece Actum War Rig. Exotic perk, Auto Loading Link. Steadily reloads a portion of your auto rifle's magazine from reserves. Basically, this perk is the same as Icebreaker or Invective. If this exotic did something else, maybe it would be lower on the list or not on the list at all. But Titans have a barricade they can spawn that doesn't cost your exotic slot and still automatically refills the ammo on your weapon. Now don't get me wrong, I kind of see what they're trying to do here. This exotic chest piece was meant to be used with sweet business, but there are better exotics to choose from. If Bungie wanted this to be part and parcel with sweet business, 
why not just have the perk on the gun? Why not just have a perk on Sweet Business that says, do X or wait X amount of time, and a portion of this weapon's magazine will be automatically refilled from the reserves. But moving forward, Hunters are back again, once again, in at number 3 with the Faux Tracer Helmet. The exotic perk on the Faux Tracer Helmet is Relentless Tracker. Marks targeted enemies. That's it. That's all it does. That's just stupid. If you would indulge me for a moment, Bungie has brought back the Knucklehead Radar. So, why didn't they just combine these two exotics? For those of you who do not know, Knucklehead Radar allows you to keep your radar when you're ADS'd. So here's the real question, why not just combine the two helmets and give hunters another good exotic? And for shits and giggles, why don't we just add Memory of Payroon to this as well? For those of you who do not know, Memory of Payroon highlights enemy guardians with fully charged supers in yellow, and then highlights all enemies with low health in red. And maybe, just maybe, if we combined all of these elements into one helmet, maybe you might have an exotic that somebody would consider over faster sprinting, better sliding, and an improved jump. In at number two, the Warlock exotic, Wings of Sacred Dawn. Exotic perk, Dawn Star Tome. When Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in the air suspends you mid-air for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. So they made an exotic that gives Dawnblade Angel of Light, which Dawnblade already has. It's called Wing Sun. Someone at Bungie must really, really, really like Angel of Light. This seems like kind of a travesty because it's a really, really cool looking exotic. Probably one of the coolest looking exotics in the game. Somebody definitely put a lot of time and effort into designing this, only to have it paired with a really shitty perk. Angel of Light is essentially the, hi guys, I'm floating in the air out in the open with no cover, don't shoot me all at once, perk. And the fact that not only is it Dawnblade exclusive, which might have actually made an interesting exotic if Stormcallers and Voidwalkers could use it as well, but it's something Dawnblade gets intrinsically. And with that, we come to number one. Now, I don't personally hate hunters. My brother's a Night Stalker. Chad Hunterchild is my wife's hunter main. That said, someone at Bungie must really, really hate hunters. Probably about as much as they like Angel of Light. I say that because the hunter exotics are generally trash in Destiny 2 with a few exceptions. But I never imagined just how trash it could get. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, I introduce you to the worst exotic I have ever seen. This is worse than Year One Dragon's Breath. This is worse than Fabian's Strategy. This is worse than Dreg's Promise. This is worse than the Fourth Horseman. Without further ado, I introduce you to Mechaneer's Trickster Sleeves. Exotic perk, Spring Loaded Mounting. Effect, Increased Sidearm Ready and Reload Speed. Increased Sidearm Ready and Reload Speed. Occasionally, within the course of playing Destiny, we are blessed with an exotic that fundamentally changes the way that we look at exotics. Love them or hate them. Galahorn, Thorn, Last Word, The Armamentarium, Bones of Ao, Mita Multi Tool. They have all been very prolific in the way that we look at exotics. And now, Hunters. They have an exotic whose intrinsic perk is Sidearm Speed Reloader, which can be found on blues and greens in Destiny 1. Someone was paid real money to take Sidearm Speed Reloader and make it an exotic perk. Not a legendary one, not a common one. Oh, no, 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 no. They took it and made it the intrinsic perk on an exotic piece of armor. Someone was paid to do this. Hell, somebody was paid to okay this. Somebody was paid to design this and program this and nobody in authority at any point in time looked at this and said, what is this, a fucking joke? There's a human being out there whose name will be co-signed to the annals of history 
for creating this exotic, for shipping a game with this exotic. Part of me really, really, desperately wants to believe that there is an amazing story behind this that goes a little something like this. One day, a developer was just fucking around and wanted to see what would happen if they turned in such a criminally stupid idea. You know, just to troll management, get a good laugh. So they submitted this idea. They then take their weekend, they live their life, and they come back Monday morning to find out that not only has somebody programmed this as an exotic perk in the game, but they've assigned it to a model. I have to imagine that this developer just kind of stood there, shocked and horrified and ashamed for like half an hour thinking, it was, what, no, what, what have you done? It was just a prank, bro. And yet, here we are. Because I can't imagine a world in which a throwaway perk, which can be rolled on pretty much any gauntlet in Destiny 1, is turned into an exotic perk. I can't fathom the sheer and utter insanity required to look at this and go, yep, we're gonna ship with that. A lot of these exotics are eh, or underwhelming, or just plain bad. But this exotic has transcended what it means to be trash, and has become a work of fucking art. This exotic isn't trash. This exotic isn't a dumpster fire. This exotic is the fucking landfill. And by transcending to such high levels of trash, this exotic has become a masterpiece. This exotic is trash, that transcends the very concept of trash to become something truly awe-inspiring. This exotic's mere existence is a monument to our sins. It is a magnum opus to trash, and we deserve it. But like always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below, and like always, stay frosty.